Hello, 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 everybody. I'm a lot closer to the time I was supposed to be here. Thank goodness. Hi, everyone. How are you today on this Monday? Many of you may or may not have seen that I lost my father last Wednesday with he was he was um, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yay. I love him for that. Anyway, I digress. Um, still have to have the phone on my hip, even though my father has passed away because um, he, I now have to make arrangements for his uh, being laid to rest. I'm going to just say it like that. Uh, how are y'all? I hope you're doing well. Um, thank you for your good wishes. Everyone so kind, so sweet. So uh, 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 lovely to me, and I want to thank you very, very, very much. Today, I thought we'd keep it light because I have so much to do for my father and my mother, who's still living, by the way, uh, that I can't stay here long. But I will stay here for a little bit because I love you guys, and it's really nice to get a chance to talk to you. It is a lovely, uh, It's it, the chance to talk about something else is really nice. Or to share with you any kind of uh, chats or concerns or things that you may have or questions about my dad or you want to send me, a, you know, whatever live. I wanted to be here for that, to talk to you about that. But I also wanted to tell you that as I get ready for October, and yesterday was October 1st, dun, 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 for me, one of the most busiest months, Terry Harden, Walt Disney's legendary Imagineer here. Welcome to Terry TV. I should have done that first, huh? Um, here on this channel, I basically just uh, share with you my thoughts and opinions and let you know what's happening in my life of an Imagineer, a puppeteer with the Jim Henson Company, um, and also outside of the Jim Henson Company, I did Ghostbusters, Men in Black. Uh, there's all kinds of questions you could ask me if you're thinking about them. Just, uh, you know, shoot. I mean, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Anyway, I decided to keep it a bit light and tell you that uh, uh, October is happening with a bang, a big bang. This weekend, I will be at the Disney Anna show and sale, and I'll also be at the Disney Anna convention, which starts Saturday the 7th. So this Saturday and this Sunday, the 7th and 8th, the Disney Anna fan club is hosting their event. And their event is wonderful. Disney fans who support Disney fans. So if you want to see, get some lovely things, they love to share with fans. They're fans who share with fans, like-minded people. It's really amazing. Saturday is a, is a stream of presentations ending in a beautiful dinner that celebrates Madame Leota and Kim Irvine. Kim Irvine, I understand it uh is represented by her daughter but it's all going to be fun and wonderful so please think about coming and if uh saturday doesn't quite fit into your schedule come sunday because there is the show and sale the disney and a fan club show and sale not to be missed and guess what guys it's free it's free to attend now it is eight dollars to park in the hotel because maybe the hotel doesn't understand free. But it's free to walk in and see the stuff. And you get this opportunity to see a lot of uh, legends, possibly. You'll see me there. You'll see all kinds of people there if you want to come up and say howdy. And hello. Or check out what we've got to show off, right? So um, I hope you'll come and say hello and come and be a part of it. If that is something you want to do. However... As luck would have it, we also have the Hollywood show, which is happening at the Marriott in Burbank, across from the Hollywood Burbank slash Bob Hope Airport. And uh, Margaret Carey is going to be at that show. She apparently just informed us she will not be at the Disney Anna show. Maybe she will. I keep thinking, I can't imagine she wouldn't be there for Sunday, but Maybe the Hollywood show uh, caught her first. A lot of times when you're as popular as myself and Margaret, 
you go with the first show. Disney and a fan club has a little bit of, of uh, kudos with me because they were the first show to ask me to set my feet upon the stage after being an Imagineer. And I've always been grateful to them for showing me a path that I didn't quite know I had, surprisingly. So uh, I always let the Disney and a fan club book me like, in October, they'll book me for next year. Now, next year will be kind of interesting because depends on when they have their event because I am working to go over to the UK in May. I want to go see my friends over in the UK. It's been way too long. I was going to go see them, um, everyone over in Europe. Uh, I was going to see them in 2020 and we all know what happened then. So uh, I'm looking to rekindle that trip and go see my friends over there. They've been very patient and very sweet and very kind, and they're waiting for stuff. And me too. So uh, I'm very, very excited to do something like that next year. Um, but I wanted you to know that you have this Hollywood show, which starts actually on Friday. So if you wanted to go see the Disney Anna show and sale on Sunday and you wanted to go see Margaret, you could go Friday and see Margaret. And then Saturday, if you want to go to the dinner at the Disney Anna uh, fan club event, no skin off your nose. Just just know that she's going to be there Friday. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do is like sneak over, buzz over and see her real quick because I'd like to really see her over there. I'm going to get some more information on what's happening, but that's all happening this coming weekend. So the Hollywood show is the 6th, the 7th, and the 8th. And the Disney Anna Fan Club is the 7th and the 8th. And wait, there's more. Uh, the Waltz Barn at Griffith Park is having their event on Sunday from 11 to 3 at Griffith Park. Waltz Barn. So if you're someone who's just not feeling to go all the way to Anaheim, which I really find hard to believe because you guys are going to Disneyland, Disneyland at a drop of the hat, many of you. But uh, if it's not the case or you have a special place in your heart for Gunny. Now, many of you, I don't know if you know who Gunny is, but he used to do the flag ceremonies at the park all the time. And they were very exciting and special. Well, when Gunny was suddenly let go from Disneyland uh, he was adopted by the Carrollwood Society that runs Walt's Barn. And every time they're open, Gunny does the ceremony. And it is absolutely bone shaking. It is so good. It is so good. And if I wasn't already um, promised to the Disney Anna Fan Club, that's where I would be. I would be there seeing Gunny because my dad was a veteran. And it would have been nice to have that opportunity just to be with Gunny for a bit and talk to a soldier about soldier stuff. Um, but I'll have plenty of time to do that. I'll wait till next month and talk to him. Uh, but uh, if you've wondered where Gunny is, that's where he is. Um, Carol Wood invited him to do the flag ceremony. Every single time they're open, it is emotional. It is beautiful. It is magical. And you are super close because it's a very intimate setting. And while you're there, you'll get to see Walt's barn, Walt's actual barn. That was Walt's actual barn with Walt's actual cool stuff. So don't miss it. Um, Travel Town is right next door if you want to walk through some cool trains. Uh, the, uh, uh, steamers club might be zipping their trains around. I don't know if they are or not. I hope they are. Cause it just adds to the ambiance. Uh, I can't remember who's going to be there speaking, but you can bet it's going to be dynamic and exciting. And, uh, 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 it's a lot. It is a lot. It kicks off October with a bang. So I wanted to let you guys know about these events so you could plan because if anywhere, you, you know, maybe you've got a uh, church happening in the um, um, North Hollywood area and you just want to pop over to Griffith Park and see that's 11 to 3. So after church, you could pop over and see all of this cool stuff and, and experience all this beautiful stuff if you just don't feel like getting to Anaheim is in your uh, ability, or you can zip over to the show at the Marriott Hotel in Burbank. That is the Hollywood show where you're going to see a lot of uh, celebrities and people signing, you know, their photos and stuff. So, of course, Margaret will be there and it'll be really fun. And like I said, that show starts Friday, which means I can sneak over and see her maybe. I'm hoping. I'm hoping to see if I can get in to see her on Friday. 
And that's what's happening. Yeah, that's what's happening. So uh, meanwhile, my father passed away last Wednesday. You may have read about it. And uh, uh, it has been a interesting time for me because I am the one that has to make sure the arrangements and everything. It's all on yours truly. My dad was one who didn't like to burden people. So it'll be short, simple, and sweet. And we'll do a celebration of life for him next year. So people can book their flights without stress, can make plans without stress. My father was about, don't be a burden to people. And he also wanted me to keep my promises. So he knew that October was going to be crazy. So he said, just breathe, Terry. And I know you got this. And you're going to do fun. So that's the good part. That's the real good part. Um, he was my, he is my hero and continues to be my hero, my father. And, uh, yeah, um, there's a, there's a, a, a lot of space in here for him. Um, I am going to miss our talks, but you got to understand guys that because I was the only person that was taking care of him for the past several years, I had a seat at the table. I call it, I got to take my dad to and from his doctor visits. And I got to chat with him quite frequently because I took care of everything, his affairs and things. I did have power of attorney and I was taking care of him. So I had these wonderful moments that I'll never be able to, uh, I might not have had, had I not gotten involved as deeply as I did for these last few years. So this is a blessing for me. And uh, I look at the blessings instead of worry about whatever. Um, the challenge for me is the timeline, not the timeline for grieving, but the timeline for certain things that are going on with my dad's place and going on with my dad's affairs. Um, I just don't know how it works. Okay. You know, and so I'm trying to learn how it works. And of course, I've got lots of advice from lots of people. So that's a bit it's lovely, but it's also a lot, you know, coming in. So, uh, so that's how it's going. But, um, many have, many of you have been really sweet in telling me that because I am so boots on the ground, smoking the bearing right now, that I may not grieve till later. And that's good to know. Cause right now I think I cry at the silly stuff. Like I'm about to order ice cream and I burst into tears and they're wondering that flavor we have it. Why are you crying? Are you excited? You know? <laughs> So, yeah, so basically just people saying, forgive yourself, you know, not forgive yourself, but give yourself time to understand this is something that's going to take a while. And that I'm really clear on. It's just the stuff that I want to get done for my dad. I don't know. It's my first time being the, you know, advocate for my father and, and making sure everything is taken care of per his wishes. Uh <sighs> Yeah, that's that's the hard part. Like how soon is soon or how late is late or blah, 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 you know? <laughs> so there you go. Okay, so let's see what you guys are doing because one of the things I'd love to do is to hear what y'all are up to. So we'll talk about that. Also, you know I'm going to say it and I know I'm going to recommend it to you. I want you to all know about my Patreon page. Here it is. Patreon.com slash Terry Harden because this is where I speak very frankly about a lot of stuff. Um, you can ask specific questions like how do I become an Imagineer and blah, 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 blah. Or how do I make a living doing what I love or I want to do it but I don't know how to incorporate it incorporate it while working a job. It's not all about asking me questions. It's sharing. And the past week has been really, really wonderful for people to help me uh, as they share their hearts. But I'd love it. If you wanted to join it, check it out. It's only $5 a month at the base tier. There are other tiers. I call them portals uh, that you can walk through, but the base tier is fine to test it out and see if you like it. Okay. So there you go. That's happening, and uh, it's wonderful. It's fun. It's a great group of people with hearts as big as Texas. So it is truly a blessing. Okay, let's. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through the comments. I know that sometimes on channels they don't do this, but I really like hearing from you. So uh, Randy is saying hi to everybody. That's my Tigger. That's my Tigger right here. Randy's my Tigger. We're Tigger, we're Tigger, we're two Tiggers because Tigger is my name, sis, and it's his too. So we're both like Tigger, 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 Tigger. 
The wonderful thing about tigers. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Hi, Tim. I miss you too, my friends. Wednesday was the day my dad passed, Tim, just so you know. And uh, it was really boots on the ground. Yeah, it was something. Uh, also, I just found out that uh, Terry's tribe member and uh, mastermind member, Luana, my friend, my dear friend, Luana, uh, she uh, got COVID. So uh, she says she's coming out of it and she's looking forward to going back to her journaling. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a, Melissa, darling, how are you? Uh, Melissa, we have changed the gatherings for the tribe up to Fridays. So hopefully you're not too busy. Uh, so glad you're back. So glad you're back. You don't even know. I mean, I'm sure you got my email, but so welcome back to the tribe, Melissa, the great mouse detective, the woman who can find anything. You just test her. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Randy. He says, so sorry about your dad. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you know. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we grieve for ourselves, don't we? Dad's over there rocking some new wings and spending time with family. He was the last living sibling. So uh, he, his whole family's over there. And uh, I know he's having a great time. So, I, you know, I don't have to be sorry for my father. But I, I miss him. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, you miss him. You miss your, you miss your papa. Yeah, and I do. I really do. Good morning, Terry and fans. I want to let you know it's so important to accompany you in your sorrow and to say, you are the tribe heart. Yes, Bob is a lovely, Bob and Rose and family are part of my tribe and they just have been wonderful. Everybody's been great support. You know, they're, they're all going to give me hugs at the event. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. You know, if you've got a hug coming. And I said, that's, that's what I really, you know, and there could be tears there guys on Sunday. So if you come to visit, just be ready. I don't, I don't know, you know, Look, uh, you want to buy a Cheshire cat? Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I joke a little bit about it, but it's true. I mean, I don't know what, how I'm going to be. And so I'm grateful that I have this coming up to see all my friends and all of you. Welcome back, kiddo. Uh, we're happy to hear you're back. Don't forget my offer. And yeah, look at it. I think that was to Melissa, actually. I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Disney Anna show, says Diane, and sale October 8th for the show and sale. I will pick up Whispering Corn book that day, too. It's in Orange County. Bring cash because some people do not take cards. Uh, I do take cards. Yes. And what a great advice, Diane. Many people don't take, artists don't take cards. I do. And I want you to keep your cash. If you're okay with giving me a credit card, that is cool. And keep your cash because she's right. Diana's so right. Some people only take cash and that ATM gets well overused. So plan ahead. She's absolutely right, Diane. What a great piece of advice. Just in case artists that you love very much only take cash sales. I am constantly talking to artists to take cards because in today's world, uh, a lot of people I know with me and my um, certified tax preparer, my CPA, um, he, uh, says no cash because he wants a trail. He wants a trail. And of course, cards keep a trail of what you charge. So that's one of the reasons I don't get to use a lot of cash because he does not want me to have no paper trail. True story. So that is really good. Forgive my yawn. It's been some long days. Uh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to let you know. Um, he sends his condolences. I knew he did. I knew he did. I knew he did. And what's lovely is to watch some of the things that he draws. And then I've been looking at a lot of Floyd Norman's uh, drawings as well. Um, they just lift you right up, don't they? It's a, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful ability and so fun to watch. So I thank them all for making me feel so much better. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Joe Penny. My deepest consolation says, thank you, sweetheart, for my dad. But at least we don't, we know he's with the Lord and beginning the next great adventure. And you'll definitely see him again. Absolutely. In fact, um, I feel him around the house. Yeah, he was very proud of me. And he always told me he was very proud of me. So uh, my dad never hesitated to tell me how proud he was of me. 
And uh, he has he has uh, a drawing I did from when I was a kid that he still has hung in the house. So um, a lot of uh, you're absolutely right, Joe. Um, he's he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Definitely everywhere. Nate says, hello, my wonderful friend. Hello, beautiful Nate. How are you, my friend? Um, hi, Terry. How are you today? So sorry to hear about your dad. How is your mom doing? Thank you, Mike. Mom is doing good. Um, mom is doing really well. Uh, we took, we went to see her, my sister and I on the Wednesday. Uh, and Tim Gillette, if you're still listening, it was about the same time that I was supposed to be on the mastermind call, call. I had to go see my mother. Um, and it was wonderful. We cried together. We sat together and we reminisced about stories of my dad. And this is one of the most beautiful things. As I talked to people who miss him, they all had stories. So I said for them to gather pictures of my father and them, and then also think of stories because when we do the celebration of life next year, I wanted to be more of a group of us gathering together and telling stories as opposed to being sad because my dad really didn't want it to be sad. He wanted it to be about telling stories. And, uh, and he, cause my dad was the premier storyteller. And that's where I got it from. <clears throat> Forgive me. <laughs> the sinuses are getting better. You can actually hear my voice a little bit through it now. But it is a slow process. So I am trying very hard just to be patient with it instead of getting upset with it. And just riding this puppy out. Yes, indeed. Just riding it out. <laughs> So exciting. Just trying to get that all figured out, figured out, you know, this here. Um, sign a situation. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, poses the question. Do you want to try and ride COVID out on your own or do you want a medication that you later have a reaction to? The choice is yours. <laughs> But uh, just remember that it's still out there. Yeah, so please take precautions. Yeah, that would be my advice. Bob Berdine says, Terry, it's been 17 years and I still get emotional. My mother was my hero and she raised me to be strong. But her loss has softened me and I'm still learning from her words. I agree, Bob. I really do. Uh, my dad often said poison isn't effective unless you take it. That's my dad. And that is because my dad was, uh, my dad is black and I am mixed, obviously, but I don't look black. I mean, if you look, I mean, this helps, right? This helps. But, and it's all my natural texture in my hair. So I don't have to do anything like straighteners or curliers or a crochet hook or whatever. It just does this naturally with the guidance of my hairdresser. So uh, it really helps people at a glance to know that there's something different about me because when I did my hair the other way, it, 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 people kind of dismiss you as a white person. And I, I don't know what it is. And my dad would always say I was overthinking it as a little kid, but it made me think that they weren't thinking about my father. And I was closest to my dad because he had the trials and tribulations and the struggles as a black man in the world. And he knew as a mixed girl, I was going to have the same thing. It's true when people can put you in a box, it's a little easier on that person. Not saying it's easy, but it's different. And for me, they didn't have a box to put me in. Uh, what are you? You're like a what's this? Very much like the Jim Henson characters that were called what's You didn't know what they were. Were they this? Were they that? And so I became this little what's And people were like, what is she? What is going on with you? You know, questions that maybe shouldn't have been asked in the way that they were asked. I don't mind people asking me. Just be polite about it. You know, tell me about yourself. What's going on? You know, how do you feel about certain things? I get a lot of questions about that. In today's world, in this woke moment, how do I feel? Being a woman, being a person of color. And mixed. Trifecta! <laughs> so I have a lot to say about it. But I also have to bear in mind that I'm 66 years old. And that is not 30. 
you know, not that you go, oh, I'm so old, oh my gosh, I need the, the wrinkle, ah, great, you know, I really embrace being an older person, I can't wait, and uh, I'm loving it, but it's a different kind of brain, you know, and one of the things I've noted about a lot of you youngsters out there, if I can say that, people who are younger than me, which is quite a few of you, uh, is that you you worry too much. I mean, for all the worry and stress that I've been through, one of the things you guys are having a lot of pressure on you. And I want you to do, as Bob told me today, which is if it's too sunny, seek shade, um, take a minute, smell the roses, take a breath, whatever it does to make you feel better, just, just give yourself permission to pause and feel better because you guys are under a lot of pressure. What with this swipe left, swipe, whatever dating, which I absolutely think is, I don't know how you do it. Um, with cyber bullying, which is nuts. People out there because they don't show their face that can be jerks about the, what they do and what they say. Um, you know, all of this stuff that you guys are going through as young people, and I'm meaning anywhere 20 up, that is going through these challenges. And then the young, young people, I, I hope you have your parents to bounce the things off of. And the ones that are 20 something that are trying to cut their way into the trail. Like 20 year olds are always trying to make their mark. I was, my husband was. 20s are the years that you're trying to make your mark. Cause when you hit 30, you start to feel like, what have I done with my life? Is this true? So, and today I find the pressure to be even more than when I was growing up um, cutting my trail in life. And I just want you guys to know that I am, I'm aware of this. And if I have one message to give you, it's to take a breath and do something fun for yourself. And for many of you, that might be a video game. There's nothing wrong with them. It might be going to Disneyland. And we talked on the Zoom call with the tribe last Friday about a rose is a rose is a rose is a rose, meaning that if you love Disney and you wear your mouse ears or you buy your popcorn buckets, how is this different from going to a sports event, painting your face, you know, black and silver for the Raiders, blue and white for the Dodgers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? And having a tailgate party and going, ooh, ooh, ooh. it's the same thing. It's the same. It's just a different subject. A Star Wars person who cosplays or role plays. Dungeons and Dragons people who do the fantasy stuff versus the people who do the card things like Pokemon and um, the other one that I can't remember. But the point is, is it's all different. We all got, you know, everybody would ask me why I played with dolls because I was a puppeteer. You spend your whole time playing with dolls and building dolls. Yeah. And that was a very lucrative business for me, by the way, just so you know. Um, and I connected with people like Jim Henson. So it's, it's, you got to keep your eye on the prize. You got to know what kind of unicorn you are and you need to own it. So in today's world, I want you who are in your twenties going on to your thirties, you are in your thirties going into forties that you have a right to, uh, what you love and you have a right to do what you want to do and just look and say to someone, it's no different from you liking sports. It's no you different you liking car races, um, cars. You know, everybody's passion is similar if you just overlay it, okay, and realize and look at each other with tolerance and caring and love, right? Yep. Absolutely, yep. So uh, let's see. Joe Penny wants to say something. It will be 25 years in December since my mom passed. She was 70. I still miss her, especially when there's something I want to ask her about her life and about time she lived in. Yeah. You know what, Joe? This is really a very important statement that you're making here. And the reason I say that is because my parents were so private. It was like, you know, to get stories from them and hear stories. So I used to tell my parents that I was going to set my phone down and put it on mute. And what I did is hit record and then recorded them when they were telling a story. So I have a few stories from my parents just told by my parents, but they thought I had turned the phone off. Just a hack tip. Mom, I want to give you my exact attention. So I'm turning the phone off and I pressed the record button so I could hear some things. Um, with my mother, this is how I found out I had another aunt. She had another sister that was given away. 
and I had no idea about it years ago. Ouch. <sighs> that private. Yeah, it's a true story. Yeah. So, so Joe, I feel you because uh, not only does your parent give you some wonderful advice, but you want to know about their history from them. That's the best way to learn history is someone who's lived it, isn't it? So your statement rings true with me. Um, speaking of our beloved elders at Disneyland, did you see the photos of 97-year-old Dick Van Dyke at Disneyland this past week? He well, Dick Van Dyke is probably going to live to 100 and 100 plus years old. Don't you think so? The man dances and smiles and he has such joy. He brings joy. He is joy. Um, what's not to love about Dick Van Dyke? I have an amazing picture of the two of us. He was just so sweet when I met him. And uh, I was so blessed to have had the chance to have a conversation. Thank you to uh, Mice Chat and Dusty Sage for that opportunity. Um, he was just heavenly. And um, everything about him. In fact, I remember one of the best things about D23 was that uh, his he jumped up to... Um, you know, they were charging a hundred dollars a signature for his book and to, to sit and have a quick chat with him. And he, uh, jumped up from the table and stood with, um, I think it might've been the Dapper Dans. I'm, I could be wrong. And he sang and danced with them, but here I am with, uh, Dick Van Dyke right here. So there I am with him. There we were at a mice chat event. And he was just, he was precious. Gosh, what a wonderful man. So uh, I did not see the photos, but I can imagine them and I will go and see the photos. So thank you for sharing that with me, Joe. Wow, you are tricky. <laughs> I am Paul. Hello, Paul. Sorry, I laid my deepest consultants on the last year, Dad. Yeah. So, Paul, we were talking about the Disney Anna Fan Club event and how you've got a lot of com competition this weekend. And I hope people come and see you in mass. I think having the show free on Sunday is a great idea. So hugs and loves to Marcy. It was Marcy, right? Yeah. So uh, Paul is a very big part of the Disney Anna fan event. And I hope you'll come, especially if you're Disney enthusiasts who want to learn and experience Disney enthusiasts. It is really the best place to do that, guys. I'm, I'm serious. Uh, you know, if you ever get into a situation in your life where you are the recipient or have to help uh, liquidate or distribute a Disney collection, I highly recommend the Disney Anna Fan Club. Get a table there. You're going to have to get it early because now they're kind of on fire. Everybody is just so excited. They, they've learned the secret. That, uh, uh, but it's a great place because if you're someone who doesn't want it just to go to anybody to be resold, Disney people who shop there are shopping for themselves, you know, like they're not like, let me resell this bucket, but like, um, um, this one. And I love people because I got this, I, I, I knew this was probably very difficult to get. And um, my sister got it for me, and it's just so doggone cute. Does this head turn? Yes, it does. And, I mean, there are things like the mare's the 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 mare's head turns in here in this popcorn bucket. It's not going to be a popcorn bucket for me, you know that, right? But the thing that helped me was that my dear friend Lindsay Rolls showed me that it lights up. I didn't know it lit up. And then I told people that this is where you get to put your popcorn box is in here, not the popcorn in here. The box actually fits. Now Disney is getting it. This is very brilliant. Popcorn box goes here. Yes. Keeping it clean, keeping it lovely, keeping it nice. And uh, I love the idea that when it's open, you've got him hanging. Just the design of this is so cute and it lights up. So. I don't know if I can light mine up. No, because it still has its little tag and I'm leaving it in there right now. But the lights come on here and the whole thing lights here. It's just darling. It's so, so darling. And my sister got this for me. Isn't it cute? It's just so, so, so charming. And his head doesn't turn, but the mayor's does. So the mayor's head 
turns here. The little mayor see his head turns. You can turn his head. Look. I mean, it's just so clever for all the popcorn buckets that I've absolutely hated or disliked immensely. It's you shouldn't use the word hate. This is super, super cute. This is so adorable. And um, but someone had to tell me it lit. I fell in love with it unlit, and then they had to tell me it lit. So you're all looking out for me. You always are looking out for me. And uh, I really appreciate that. But yeah, it's just amazing. It's so amazing. I just love it so much. <laughs> So everyone can get uh, infected by a popcorn bucket. It just has to be the right popcorn bucket. You know? Yeah. So it's very exciting. Very, very exciting. Yeah. Um, hello, Angie. Sending you and your family love and prayers. Thank you, Angie. Um, Angie, you've been with me a long time. So I really appreciate that coming from you. I'll send you the photos I've seen via Messenger, Terry. Thank you, Joe. That would be lovely. I have to tell you, it's just... I've been reading about Dick Van Dyke. I, uh, in fact, my friend Evan, who's with the tribe, actually got to meet his assistant and have a quick chat. I'm sorry he didn't get to meet Dick Van Dyke because Dick Van Dyke is lovely, just lovely. And uh, you guys should tune into micechat.com because they have their finger on the pulse of a lot of stuff. And so, you know, Dusty doesn't play around and, the, and Dusty's team doesn't either. They're very informative. They're very helpful. And they're not clickbait. So micechat.com, check it out. I did write for them for a while. I'd like to get back to writing for them again, but I'd like to keep it shorter and sweeter because there's a lot to talk about. So maybe it'll be my artist tip of the day or Disneyland tip of the day or uh, how to relax. You know, I don't know, but uh, I've, I've reached out to Dusty and he would like me to write for uh, my chat again. And I would too, because that's a great group of people and you're all so very sweet. And they just help you to know, you know, you get the get to know all the stuff. They they report with love and kindness, and uh, it's not clickbait, which I didn't know what clickbait was until uh, y'all, mostly in the tribe, showed me what clickbait was. So uh, that's the situation. Randy says that's the Disney uh, I miss. That's the Disney merchandise that I miss now. Using your heart, Disney. Yes, Disney Disney with that one nailed it. I think they also nailed it with this one. This is the Mr. Toad's car. Isn't that cute? That's a popcorn bucket also. However, the thing that's weird about this one is it's the back that opens. So you're kind of carrying it like this to put the box in. And that's a little weird. Maybe it's not so weird because the, the, the Toad is a crazy. Whoops. He's got this on top of him. But he's a crazy driver anyway. So maybe, you know, that's okay because he's he's nutty as he drives like a crazy person. But uh, I don't think the popcorn placement is as wonderful here as is on the other one. But it's still cute. Wheels turn, which is really sweet. I'm partial to this one because I did. Uh, this was one of the first sculptures that I did for uh, uh, Disneyland as I did this little car. So, um it was not this big, believe me, uh, but I did that. So very, very fun, entertaining, and exciting. So yeah, I mean, wowzer, right? Right? Oh my gosh! You know, so anyway, you are correct. There are some great, great stuff coming through uh, Disney, um, and I'm hoping that they will keep it up. They will keep up the good stuff. Uh, my mom is hanging in there. My mom is at the convalescent hospital. No change there. But uh, she says, now I can go. Now that dad has crossed over, she can cross over. What does that mean? It could be another 10 years with my mom. She's an honorary cert. So uh, when I told her that, you know, he went first so that I could visit more with her. Because that's my dad. He's just one big, generous heart, Angie. And uh, he made sure that he passed at a time when it was nobody's birthday. My cousin's birthday is coming up. It's October 7th. And my cousin was just really having a meltdown. He used he lived with my dad and made sure my dad had food, vitamins, medicines, always took care of my dad. Um, not a nurse or anything, but just, you know, if any, my dad needed anything. And they watched football together for years. And so um, he, it's really hitting him hard. But uh, he was freaking out because he's Catholic. And Catholics, of course, uh, believe in a good funeral. And my dad didn't want one. 
my dad um, had a struggle. I think I mentioned with you that uh, my, my brother um, passed and the, he wanted to be buried. And the, 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 it, it, the thing is that at your worst, saddest time and your happiest time, meaning a wedding or a funeral, they take advantage of you or they try to. They try to upsell you. They try to give you a face, some of these people. And it's not about you and your grieving. It's about how much money they can squeeze out of you, you begin to feel. And that's what we felt this happening with my brother. It was just not pretty. And my dad was really, really upset about it. It really hurt. And he never quite got over that part. So he wants it to be burden no one, be about the other people. My life is in heaven. This is the shell. Please take care of the people on earth for me. Show them my love by not putting them through uh, what I went through with, with my, with my dear Harvey. So that's the, what he wanted. He talked with me pretty clearly. Please don't burden people, make it simple, you know? And, uh, and so that's what we're doing. Um, I thought it would maybe go a little faster, but I guess that's movie. <laughs> Since I'm movie based anyway, of course that's movie. But uh, today we're going to try and get some answers so I can get an idea of a timeline and talk to some people who might be able to help shed some light on what does it take for me to get from A to Z for my dad. But uh, my dad said, please, you know, so I had to tell my cousin there will be no funeral um, and that we do a celebration of life, which will be next year. Because my cousin was like, do I, do I, I have a, I have a birthday present that happens this weekend. Do I cancel it? No, my father would never want you to do that. Um, do I not go to the show and sale this weekend in Anaheim? My father would say, no, you do not do that. You do not go back on your promises to people if you can possibly help it. So he's still here, guys, as many of you have talked to me about. He's here. Remember, respect the people who are still on earth. I'm fine. I've got some beautiful wings and I'm with my family and I love you and I cherish you and I'm preparing heaven for you. So chill, baby, chill. <laughs> you know, so, you know, I will cry at the most inopportune times, like weird. Like I said, it's really weird that I cry, you know, I'm at the market and I'm buying milk, <laughs> you know, it's just, who can explain it? So I just ride it out. As many people have said, just ride that puppy out, you know, don't worry about it. Just ride it out. And so that's what I'm doing. And I didn't really want to make this dad centric today. I really wanted you to know about some really cool events that are coming up. And also, oh my goodness, silly me, outrageous pumpkins. Are you watching it? Are you checking it out? How do you like it? Uh, the second episode was yesterday, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to tell you, uh, people are loving it. I knew they would. This year is a very special year because we have... Um, <laughs> so sweet. Um, so sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it is a great show. If you haven't seen it, it is Sunday Nights. And you can see it on your local uh, channels, your streaming channels. But also Max has all of them. So if you happen to be a Max subscriber, then you can find it there all season. So you can just marathon, get your popcorn um, and check it all out. But the season is happening every Sunday. Now, what usually happens is they will show the show first and then the second show sometimes. Um, so if you miss one, you know, you can catch it, but it's really, really fun and it's gearing up, isn't it? You know, anyway, it's a great show. I'm a judge on the show. For those of you who don't know, I have been a pumpkin judge with Outrageous Pumpkins since its first inception when it was called something else in 2005. So I would love for you to see it and let me know how you like it. Um, it's been lovely to do it. Uh, they all sent me their love, uh, for my dad. And uh, uh, I know I haven't been, you know, talking it up and I really should talk it up more, 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 more uh, so that you can see it. And uh, I hope you'll watch it because these people are masters at what they do. And it's a lot of fun to see what they create. And uh, maybe you'll learn some techniques for yourself as well. 
it can be great fun. Yeah, I love the show because it's about the work. Yeah, it's not about the banter. It's not about the arguing. As many shows, you know, will have that tete-a-tete -tete of drama. Um, we don't do that. It's all about the work. It's all about a good pumpkin sculptor delivering an amazing piece with a, in a short amount of time. Yeah, it is not a lot of time for them to create what they want to create. So uh, I hope you'll tune in Sunday nights. Um, check your local listings and you can find it because, of course, it, it shifts and moves. Or you can go to, I think you can go to Discovery Channel or FoodNetwork.com and it will have a list of show times. So you can like go into the future and find what, you know, Sunday is when it, you know, click on the show and it'll tell you when it's going to air. Yeah, that's a real easy way to do it. Okay. I hope you watch it. It's a lot of, it's a great, it's a great show. It's a great, great show. Bob says, my wife and I were charter members. We've been members for 38 years and it was such a great club. If you are a Disney fan, you should go to their events. This is the Disney Anna fan club, by the way. Uh, I say the same thing about Terry's tribe, best post and great site. Thank you, Terry, for bringing us all together. Yes, this is a place where we have a community of like-minded people that just take care of each other. In fact, uh, again, like I was saying to many of you young people, when you're stressed out, the tribe is a great place to have people kind of help you to sort of get a calmer look of what you feel is so scary and stressed. This is, this is, and, and, and I know many people who are in their twenties don't like being called young, but the fact is you are, and we want you to know it's okay. There's nothing wrong being young. In fact, yay for you. Uh, but there are times that you guys get really worked up. I've noticed that, especially if you're an artist and uh, we don't want you to burn out and we don't want you to overload. So the tribe is a real play, great place for you to kind of air how you're feeling without judgment. And that's one of the reasons I love the private page, private Facebook page and the zoom calls that we have every week. So I hope you will join me patreon.com slash Terry Harden and uh, check it out. It's five bucks a month, so you could do it for a month. And if it doesn't suit you, we're not going to dislike you or anything. I just think your voice needs to be heard and we'd like to hear from you. I was on the plane coming back from um, a book tour and I met an amazing lady. Her name is Hannah. Amazing lady. And she's a tattoo artist and she's joined the tribe. So now we have this amazing tattoo artist that used to be a judge as well on shows like Inked. You remember Inked? It's been a while. She says it's well into the rearview mirror now. But to hear her talk about her tattooing and what her life is like, I have never been someone that was even interested in getting a tattoo. But to meet an artist that is so dedicated to it and hear how she has made it hers is very helpful to the tribe. will be very helpful to the tribe. So Hannah's an amazing person. She's just a wonderful person. And we're so similar. It's just unbelievable. Um, we talked all the way on the plane coming home from the book tour. And I think God sent her to me. I think they sent her to me to take care of me because I had just heard that day that my dad had passed. So she's amazing. She's just amazing. And she's part of the tribe. And so your voice needs to be heard is what I'm saying. Okay. So I hope you will try it for at least a month and check it out and let me know how you like it and join the group. Uh, many during the day, if they can't join the Zoom call, listen to it like a podcast. So that, and then they'll text. I'm starting to get better with looking at the chats for uh, Zoom. So I'm getting better, but yeah. So things are evolving. There's some things on Patreon that I haven't yet tapped into that will make it a better experience for you guys. But of course, uh, that's going to take me time too, because me and technology, blah. So it just, it's just a little bit, just take a little bit at a time because we all, at our various stages in life, have challenges. Mine is social media and technology, but I'm getting better. So yeah, I'm getting better. So fear not, good friends. You know, like I was happy to show, let me show you something. I was happy to show, let me see if I can pull this up. I don't know if I'll be able to show it. But um, if I go to this person, right here, who I have no idea who this is, right? So it's all blank right here. But if I type a message, like I use the microphone, hey, blah, 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 right? And I stop it. Do you see right there? It says, hey, blah, 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 blah. Now, did you know if you hold the space bar right here, you press on it, that you can move the cursor around to your word? 
So I don't know if I can do it in the reflection, but you press and then wait, there we go. And this, this cursor, can you see that this cursor, let me go in tight. The cursor moves around if you press the space bar to where you want it so that you can just plant it where you want it. And then you can type instead of backspacing. Did you know about that, guys? See, I take care of you guys, don't I? I don't know if you knew that, but I uh, thought you would like that very much. Um, and I'm going to unblah, blah, blah, because I don't know who this person is, but they were um, whoever it is. I appreciate them um, allowing me to do it so I don't ruin anybody's privacy. <laughs> but uh, that's a really great hack. So I'm not completely without a little bit of savvy, but it takes me a little bit of time. And if that's you, don't stress it. You know, try to, you know, as they, as many people tell me, try to relax, right? Um, yeah, here we go. So many are doing the celebration of life. They're a beautiful way to remember. You get to share all the things. And my dad was a storyteller, one of the best. And uh, I am happy to say I have that trait too. So uh, that's what he asked to do. Just let people share and come together and hug and have a good time. I think next year you should be the host and the judge. Oh, you're so nice, Angie. You know exactly how to make me feel good. I love Outrageous Pumpkins. I will watch episode two today. Thank you, Diane. Yes, that is the nice thing is that once it drops, you can watch it whenever. And that's what's so good about it. Yeah, so um, um, watched it last night, says Nate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tater. <laughs> Need you say more, Bob Burdine. <laughs> The tribe is truly magical. Um, thank you, Nate. Paul says, thanks for talking about our event. I'm looking forward to introducing three more legends and seeing some presentations on Saturday too. Yeah, don't miss the pumpkin one, Paul, because uh, it's only 30 minutes and that's going to be an e-ticket in itself because if you've ever seen me sculpt a pumpkin, it's never been in 30 minutes. There really is no make art button. So, but I love a challenge. So I'm up for it. Yeah, I'm stoked. I am stoked. John E. Johnson, how are you, my love? It's been a while and I keep hoping that I can stay at your retreat soon. But uh, so far, um, life has uh, been, uh, yeah, an e-ticket, definitely. But sure good to see hear from you today. Nate says, I keep telling Kevin I need to figure out how to become a host. You would be a great host. In fact, I'm thinking, I don't know. There, there's a couple of things you'd be a good host for coming in my head. I think it would be great. You know, I think it would be marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Well, as I promised all of you, I was going to give you about 40 some odd minutes. It has been exactly 52 because, you know, I really like you guys. And uh, I like hearing what you have to say. Joe says, Tater's full name is Potato. <laughs> You guys, Tater is a love, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And Nate says, I would love it. Absolutely. So hugs and kisses to all of you. Thank you for being here and making me feel better. I have so much to do for my parents today that I am going to sign off now. I will keep you guys posted. Know that probably Friday will be Flashback Friday, but uh, it allows me to have some time and space to maybe get some of my sculpting done. Oh, shudder. Uh, I don't know. It's really about my parents right now. So you guys all know. You kiss it. So love and hugs. Do something nice for someone else. It'll make you feel a whole lot better. I look forward to chatting with you. I look forward to hearing about what you've got going on. And I hope I see you at the Disney Anna. Take care, Angie. Fan club event. Should you be able to make it? Uh, I hope you do it. And thank you, Diane. Um, you are always there with a kind word to everybody. And that's why you're in the tribe, Diane. You are a very, very special person. Hugs, loves, be well, everybody. And we will see you very, very